Glad to have you stay with us. It is still in the game on New Central TV. I am Odoka Njoko. Now let's go straight to that game that went out between Heartland Football Club of Oweri uh, taking on Enugu Rangers at the Oriental Derby. And it was the away team, Enugu Rangers, that got the victory in that one. Two goals to one. And with that victory, it sent them straight to the top of the Nigeria Premier Football League table. Now joining us to talk about that victory and them topping the table is uh, Norbert Okoli, the media officer for Rangers International. And I'm sure he is a very proud man getting that vital away win from home. Glad to have you with us, Norbert. Uh, All right, let's, let's talk about that Oriental Derby win uh, over my darling Heartland, because I'm from Imo State and I was quite disappointed with how they played against uh, uh, Enugu Rangers. Well, the manager, the club said I've actually promised that they were going to get all three points against Heartland of Uweri, and it did happen on the night, and that took them straight to the top of the MPFL. Actually, uh, what happened yesterday at the Imba Stadium was uh, what I call a uh, well prepared uh, workout plan and uh, with the uh, players and sports group on the team. And um, the three points are as far as uh, the coach, Phillips, uh, uh, actually said that we, we were coming to APA to do something that uh, needed to be done against uh, APA. And uh, the players did not disappoint him. But then they did not disappoint him. They say that the government of the state is a pressure to them by the And we are happy that uh, uh, we got all the points and uh, we can get back to uh, with our problem fans. Uh, our user song, a song of a holy, holy, holy. <laughs> Sorry, no, but I mean, for want of better sound, because I mean, the fans out there will surely want to hear you loud and clear. Can you kindly um, remove the earpiece so that we can have a clearer conversation? Thank you very much. Okay. You might need to unplug it from the device so we can have um, a clear conversation with you. Yeah. Can you hear me? And clear. So you can go ahead and tell us that beautiful story. So like I was saying, I said uh, our coach, uh, in his wisdom, uh, uh, did a little rotation uh, to actually ensure that uh, the players are, are at their maximum in every match. That's what we've been, that also has been helping us uh, since the second round started. And uh, it did not fail in Abba. Uh, before we left Enugu for Abba, after watching the last training session, he saw the zeal, he saw the determination uh, in the faces of the players to actually do the job in, uh, in uh, Abba. And then we were not disappointed. Neither were our fans, the management, or the government of the day, ably led by His Excellency, uh, Barisa Pitamba. And uh, we are good to go. We are happy as well with the position we currently occupy. And, uh, we hope to do more because it get, it's not how you get to the top, but it's how you manage to remain at the top that is very, very difficult. Mm. Now, you know, let's talk about the coach now, Fidelis Ilechuku. He has been tagged as the Nigerian uh, Jose, Mor Jose Mori of the Nigerian Premier Football League. What, um, mm -hmm. what does he do on the sidelines to instill discipline and uh, huge morale uh, for the players on the football pitch? For me, uh, for the uh, few months we've worked together, what I've come to understand about uh, the person in uh, uh, Coach Fidelis Lechuku is that he actually brought himself so low to be in the same class, same level with the players. He travels in the same bus with the players, stays in the same hotel with the players, and uh, this, to a very large extent, has uh, given uh, the players that sense of uh, uh, belonging in the uh, before their coach, and they work in they in they have to actually see that they deliver for him because like he always tells them if they don't play well they all his coaching is in vain so he has actually uh, sold himself to the players and they are playing for him all right let's take a look at the table now rangers international after about 26 27 matches at top of the Nigeria Premier Football League table. And the likes of Enyimba, they are struggling, but of course they have a chance also to go top. There are three points. Enyimba, three points behind Rangers International. Lobby Stars are on second position with 47 points. Raymond Stars have not played their 27th game. They have 26 game played so far. But of course, if Raymond Stars get to win, they will go back to the top of the table with 48 points. Now, the battle is quite tough in the MPFL between Rangers and Plato United, even Canopillas stand a chance because they're seven points behind Rangers International. Do you believe that Rangers has what it yeah. takes to go all the way to the end of the season and win the title? 
If you did hear, hear what our coach said after the game and the post match yesterday in Abba, he, he said that he didn't know we were at the top. Uh, <laughs> but uh, for him, uh, at the start, when he joined Rangers, he never gave himself, uh, the management never gave him any targets, neither did he give his players any targets. So he himself, He's the one playing and actually uh, wanting to uh, prove something uh, uh, with Rangers. If you understand, he worked with MFM, Atlanta, and Plateau United. He did when he, when he was unveiled in Enugu. He told uh, whoever cares to listen that he had coached national side, I mean club side in the national uh, national wise, lower leagues, and now he's in a, he's in an international club side called Rangers International FC, and he's here to do some uh, magic. And I'm quite sure he's doing that. But that is not, uh, not about to say that he is uh, disregarding other challenges. He knows there are challenges there. And he, he wants us to take every match at a time. And if uh, God willing, and with uh, the tactics is uh, dishing out to the players, and the players also internalizing this, there's no way he cannot uh, come out uh, top. But he's not uh, pushing the, uh, the players to go under any form of pressure. He wants them to play their game free-flowing football passing game, and at the end, if we win, he will celebrate. If we don't, he also gives them uh, the celebration part on the back. All right, so I'm sure the fans are looking forward to seeing Rangers win more games in the NPFL, and they surely want to pat the, uh, the coach at the back. All right, thank you very much, Norbert Okoli, for joining us today, today to talk about River Rangers International and their quest to the NPFL title. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, my brother. Keep doing the good job you're doing, sir.